What's going on guys? Jay here from smarthelpy.com. I'm going to do a free template today, uh, a sensitivity table. I'm going to explain what it is, what's the purpose of it, how it's used. Um, the Google Sheet link will be in the description box below. Uh, also, if you don't have Google Sheets, you can go to that link and just, um, you should be able to download it to Excel. Yeah, download the microphone. So it, it'll be an Excel and a Google Sheet version. Uh, very basic math here, but the idea of it in, it is good for a lot of different use cases. Um, and before I get into this, because I'm going to build it in front of you and, and try to explain it at the same time. Uh, I want to explain a couple things that are going on. Uh, first, obviously, uh, for advanced templates, check out smarthelping.com. Uh, the financial models tab at the top has everything. I, I sell a lot of things in bundles, or you can buy individual templates. I've got over 100 here for all different kinds of things. Um, SaaS, joint venture stuff, accounting tools, real estate, uh, just general trackers and organization uh, improvement templates, um, sales pipeline trackers, KPI dashboards, and then industry specific models for all kinds of different businesses, human resources, valuation. Uh, so, you know, feel free to check that out. Uh, also, I stream every Monday at 5 p.m. EST, and I've been giving away a one free template every week. And if you ran, uh, basically, if you get on a list, uh, you get the template. I'll do a random drawing using the rand between function and Google Sheets. Uh, everyone's got a... Basically, if you bought a template in the past, you'll go on this list, and then I put uh, a number to each person, and that's their number forever. I do a, a rand between... There's like... I can't remember. 1,200-ish people on the list right now. And if you win, I'll email you, and you get a free template that you could depict any template on the whole entire site. Uh, all right. So having said all that, let's get into this. So sensitivity, what does it mean? Well, just think of the name sensitivity. You're, you're trying to figure out how sensitive or how much an output will change based on how much an input changes. So the easiest way to explain it is to just do it. Um, so here's an example. Let's say you have a you have product sales, and let's say your sales are potentially 10, 20. Let's do no, let's do a bigger number. A thousand, two thousand. Maybe this is monthly or annual. It doesn't matter. Uh, Four thousand, six thousand, ten thousand. Okay, so you want to see, you're isolating the variable of unit sales, and you're trying to see how much revenue you make at different unit sales at various prices. So you can see here we're, we're testing price and quantity in the sensitivity. And let's say price is, you know, 25 cents, $1.25. We can just go up by a dollar here. And you can see what is the vet, the revenue if we multiply all these together. And this is our table. Now I'll get into some other, um, we'll get into some more, but this is the first and most easiest, the, or the, the simplest way to understand this. Hold on, we got to lock these correctly. So B is locked in C. There we go. You can also do some conditional formatting. Usually, either you could do a test number and say, okay, I want to see, you know, 10,000. Everything that's below 10,000 being red, everything that's above being green. You could do it that way, or you could just do a, a nice uh, color formatting. Uh, oh wait, 
does this have color scale? That's one thing about uh, Google or Excel that's kind of nice. No, we don't want that. Let's see here, conditional formatting. Oh, color scale, there it is. So yeah, something like this, or you could do uh, the opposite direction, or it could be red. Um, but usually this is kind of what you see in these things. Um, and then, you know, you label this, you know, quantity sold versus price. And there's a sensitivity table. Now, in financial modeling, it can get a little bit more complex because you might want to see, well, not not so, like a lot more complex. You might want to see different valuations based on a change of valuation multiples is usually what it would be based on. So you just take your output of X, let's say your EBITDA is going to be X, Y, or Z. So you could do EBITDA at the top and then a multiple at the bottom. I'll just do it here because it's a little bit different number formatting. Let's say you had um, EBITDA here for the business and then you had a uh, multiple here. So if your EBITDA was, you know, Let's do a bigger number, $50,000 increments. So here's what you make a year. Uh, we'll do multiples here by putting an X. Let's find the custom number format. Right, so these are different multiples of EBITDA. And here's the, so this is actually a, uh, valuation sensitivity but the key is you just need two input variables that make sense to adjust and then um, those two variables you then apply to your output and this could be like a uh, revenue sensitivity table Now these are useful for a lot of different things. And it could be um, that you have more complex calculations going into like, let's say these are quantities sold, but at each quantity sold, you've got some other stuff going on um, that has to apply to this price for whatever reason, that's fine. Um, the key is you wanna know, okay, at this variable of, of quantity sold and this variable price, what's my revenue? And for here, at this EBITDA multiple and this multiple, what's my valuation? And hold on a second. Do we mess this up still? Uh, C7 is locked in B8. That's right. Why? Oh. So this is still locked up here. I need to drag the this down for this table to 20. Because I know 250,000 times 7 is not 72,000. There we go. Oh. Now why did our color scale go away for this? to 8 to 15. Oh, it added this one to it. We don't want that. And then this is a separate one. There we go. Like this, the same style. Okay. Revenue sensitivity, valuation sensitivity. You put your inputs here and your outputs are there. I'm trying to think if there are a good another good different type of way to do this that I can show you guys 
Uh, uh, let's see. So real simple, you know, we're seeing how sensitive is the revenue to these variables? You know, how, how does it change? How much or, or little does it change? Here, how much does valuation change based on these here? Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Essentially, the, the basic rule is you just have two variables that you can isolate. And by changing them, you get a sum output. You know, these calculations might have other calculations going on to get to the number here. But these are the primary var variables you're isolating. Um, so there could be other things that go into this number, and that's fine. What you're saying is holding all else equal. If you change this in this variable, what does your output look like? That's all the table's trying to do. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, so have fun with this thing. It's like I said, I'll make this uh, document shareable or viewable for by anybody, and then uh, just go ahead and uh, I'll put. Let's see, where should I put this? Uh, to use this template, just go to File at the top and then select Make a Copy. So, real, like I said, just go to file here, hit make a copy. That will make an editable version that your own Gmail account can use. Um, I'll also put in, so I'll put in an Excel, like a downloadable file in the box, in the description box. So you can just go right to Excel if you want to do this there instead of here. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Sensitivity tables, that's about everything that I could think of that can help you understand what they are and and you can use them in all kinds of things uh, the point is you just you're isolating a bunch of variables and saying if they change how does my output change there could be other variables in the equation that you're just holding equal um, and usually in this you're not going to have three variables because well what if there I, I can't I can't say well what if quantity sold is four thousand? The price was 25 cents and some other variable was was three dollars well that's this it, i would have to have a cube to do it i need a three-dimensional cube to do three variables because then i would say okay this box is a thousand for this this and the other variable and then i go down one deeper and it would say okay for four thousand for 25 cents and for a different value of that other variable it goes deeper and deeper well, we're in a, a two-dimensional Google Sheet here, so I can't really do that. Maybe with some advanced programming, you might be able to do a cube sensitivity, and that might be kind of cool. Because then, yeah, you can isolate. You can do a sensitivity with three variables if you needed to, and it's just a cube. But you can't really do that here. Um, you just have to show multiple sensitivities, like for this one, and then you could show this same chart for another variable at x and then another chart for that other variable at y and all this stuff is the same but you're just changing that third variable um, and you just essentially would have 20 different tables like this and you can see how it could be a cube because you could stack them slice by slice and then it'd make a cube but we can't do that in, in this programming okay i'll see you guys on monday right now i'm working on a bike shop financial model uh, on the live streams Monday for financial modeling live, I'm going to do a vending machine after that. And then possibly something called FedEx roots. I don't know. Uh, I had a guy on Twitter talking about it. So I might do, we've got a pretty good lineup, but, uh, your customizations and comments are welcome in there. So come in and say, Hey, um, let me know if you want to see something done or something changed to a model in the past or, or something you think will benefit the community in general. Alrighty, I'll see you later.